Hello, a very good evening to all of you. Uh, I'm just going to wait for a few more people to join in. But if you can see me and if you can hear me clearly, uh, just drop a, an emoji or a thumbs up in the chat box so that I know you're here and I know that you can hear me. Awesomeness. I can see a few people coming in. Hello, Maitri. So yes, um, I will speak about the location. I know it's our third episode of That Is Why Italy and we already have a new location. So this one out here is our office at VFS Mumbai um, and this is where you're going to be seeing us while you apply for your visas later once you get admission and all at Mumbai. This is where we're going to be. And like you know, we help you out. So we're going to be here sitting with you, checking your documents just before you go in for the application. Hello, hello. So good to see so many people. Hi, Aditya. We see, I see our director here also. So good to see you. Okay. So yes, we have a very interesting guest today. I will talk more about him once he's here. But till then, uh, let me know if you all have something to say or something to ask. Uh, we're going to be having a 10 minute session towards the end where we'll be addressing questions that you all have asked and so on and so forth. Um, you all can um, invite some of your friends who are keen on applying to Italy and if you are planning to go together or so on and so forth. Perfect. Who else do I see? Oh wow, Aditya, that's wonderful. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to hear that. So good to see success stories. Aditya, maybe for our next edition, maybe in 23, 2022, 20, 23 for that intake, yes. Oh, when, it's, uh, when we're doing the series again, maybe we can have you as a guest. Pre-registration is necessary, yes. Uh, maybe we can, uh, you know, have a chat with you. If you drop us a DM, uh, that is at the rate 4.30 ahead. I'm sorry, I'm not able to get your name out here. Meanwhile, our guest is having a little difficulty with joining in, I guess. Let me just check with him. Hi, Hanan. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Perfect. Meanwhile, yeah, maybe maybe while we are waiting, I can give you a little tour of our office. So this is our desk, and um, this thing out here. Oh yes, what a perfect moment to show you about the amity uh, gift that we've gotten. But I'll speak about this a little more once um, Lakshya is here, and I can. Lakshya, can you see me? Can you hear me? If you all can see Lakshya and if you all can see and hear him, just let me know. Because I could see him for a bit and then he disappeared. Not yet, right? Lakshya, I I have sent you an invite. Can you accept it, please? Okay, Adil can Adil can see Lakshya. Okay, how come I am not on? He's offline. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'll follow each other. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe that's why. Lakshya, I can see you in the comments, but I can't see you in the live. It says you're unable to join for some reason. I have accepted your request and I have also sent you one. Yes, you're here. Oh, hi. Hi, hi, guys. What's up? Wow, that's a very fancy backdrop. Where are you currently? Uh, I'm right outside my campus. If you if you could see there, those buildings. Wow, it's beautiful. 
Okay, for many people who don't know which campus you're studying in, can we have a little introduction about this beautiful place that you're introducing us to? Yes, absolutely. So, hi guys. My name is Lakshya. I'm a master student at Politecnico di Torino, and right now I'm based in Turin, Italy. And uh, yes, that's the building that I just showed you. It's beautiful. Oh my god, even before the you know conversation that we're going to have, I'm sure a lot of people who are watching this live are tempted looking at the backdrop and being like, "What? Is that a university? I want to go study there." Oh, it's a plus one because I'm going to be showing you like a virtual tour for people who want to come wow, here. Wow, lucky, yeah. lucky, yeah, lucky, yeah. Yes. I can see a lot of heart emojis popping up with people heart reacting, looking at uh, the university <laughs> that you showed us. Okay, Lakshya. So I had a few questions for you. So, but before that, you you told us what you're studying here, and um, can you tell us how it has been? Like, okay, but before that, I'll I'll go step by step. why italy like how did you choose to go to italy when did that realization happen uh okay so this story goes back like a couple of years and i was still pursuing my bachelor's degree in amity university mumbai i was in my third year and okay. that's when i decided that i would go and i would opt for an uh, for a post graduation degree and uh, i started looking up for colleges and then i realized that i should not be staying in india for some time and that's how i stumbled upon italy then uh, on the same lines fortunately uni italia came through and i was lucky enough to sit through one of your conference and then that's how i discovered like beautiful colleges and beautiful places and i was so tempted that i had to be here and that's how i ended up in italy that is so so cool in fact actually before you were joining and i was just giving uh, people a tour of our office when i just noticed this we have a little memento from amity university from the time when our director came and the time when you met them so i was like oh wow what a yes, cool coincidence yes i do remember that <laughs> Oh my god that's so good but yeah i think that might have added added a little fuel to the fire of going to italy you know uh yes you did but at the same time when you guys had come to the university and less than one month later the pandemic had started so my plan got delayed by one year and here we are well, well, that's also true but all's well that ends well so i'm pretty happy that you're studying in italy now we have a lot of people asking you more about the course and what course you're doing and everything so could you maybe tell them about what exactly you're studying and how is it going for you uh, like a little bit about the course details and all okay uh, i'm currently pursuing a master of science program in architecture for sustainability and uh, it's a two years program conducted in english uh, it's since it's a master of science degree it's more research and technicality based and there's a lot of practicality as well and uh, yes it's fun it's uh, yeah, rigorous but it's fun Regarde, I was just going to ask, how are the exams? Like, do you have like the exams in India, or do you have some? You said uh, practical, so I mean, see, uh, I think we design people have oral exams for most of our subjects, and we have to produce some work in forms of sheets or presentations, and uh, we have to basically appear for a jury, like exactly like how we did back in India. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And how are the professors? Like, how are you liking the teaching pattern and everything? It's it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, even for students who can't come to uh, the university, they are opening yeah. up virtual classrooms. And since there is an issue of a green pass that we have, yeah, uh, we we do need a green pass, and it's mandatory here to have the third dose of vaccine, like the booster vaccine. and that's how they allow you to enter the university but nevertheless people uh, professors are very friendly here you could reach out to them any time and they are always willing to help you that is so good i mean and especially it might have helped a lot especially after going after the pandemic and adjusting to a new yeah. country and all of that yeah so that's nice how how's the overall atmosphere at polito do you live close by do you live at the university oh yes yes uh, i live in the heart of the city i live in san salvario and my university is like a 10 minute walk from my house okay and uh, there are a lot of international students so there is a lot of exposure to you and how you experience things around here and uh, yes the atmosphere is very lively the students also they are always they are very uh, uh they they include everything and uh, whoever they are with in whatever we all do together a lot that's, of group activities yes 
So that's really beautiful. When you say international students, do you mean like Italians or like from other nationalities? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, there is a good majority coming from Asia as well, and uh, I would say that uh, at least like forty percent of the total batch strength that we have are Italians, but the rest are just uh, students from across Europe, uh, Asia, Southeast Asia, and a few people from the Western Hemisphere. very interesting that's nice that's yeah. quite a bit of diversity so there might be like a huge amount of cultural exchange no yes 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 there is in fact i mean and how how is this helping you with the um, the course or something i mean it might be helping you with you know uh, getting to know about the architectural practices in the culture it's funny that you asked that uh, say the the bachelor's degree that we have in india for architecture is 5 years but yeah. for but for other people it's not 5 years 3 years at tops of 4 years so it's it's amazing to look at architecture from their point of view and how they were taught through the process and it's funny to exchange it's like amazing to exchange ideas and get to know about architecture from their point of view are you well that's that's quite interesting but now yeah. that you speak about this how how are the applications like can you tell us a little bit about going back to those times when you were in india and applying to universities how did that go ahead uh okay uh, that's an excellent question i would start with and uh, so i had just completed my bachelor's degree at amity and i was looking mm-hmm. for colleges but at that time only the pandemic had started and i didn't want to uh, pursue a course from india so i had to wait and mm-hmm. me waiting actually bought me a lot of time that i could go through the process understand how the application works understand yeah. how i would be required to produce documents and mm-hmm. uh, also i got about time to make a portfolio that would help me land such a good university so it was around one and a half year and in the meantime i had just started a couple of startups with my friends and okay. i was balancing like the professional life and also my dream of coming here so there was a lot of time to prepare all these documentation work and apply for the university uh, get the application and push it through the embassy for the visa and finally arrive here interesting that's quite quite uh, good this i remember someone in the co- comments i think it was gayatri she was asking about Hi. whether a portfolio is needed or not this part oh, yes. just give me a minute um, yes, sure. excuse me i'm having a live session out here yeah so yeah no it's just the visa center where we have our office today so you're going to have to pardon me for this okay so yeah it's, a portfolio okay, is needed okay. can you uh, tell a little more about the portfolio or something like that uh, I think if uh, if anyone who is aspiring to attend a design course mm-hmm. specifically here uh, you would be required to submit a portfolio uh, the requirements for which are usually published on the university portal so you could just simply go there and see what are what are you asked to do and mm-hmm. me being a uh, being an architecture student I was also required to produce a portfolio of uh, mm-hmm. 35 pages max I had to include like five projects okay and a little bit of miscellaneous work just to yeah. you have to work more on representation basically that is true of course they can visit the university portfolio or they can come to uni italia we are definitely happy to oh, help yes. you out in case you have any questions yeah i'd like to know your story how did you get in touch with uni italia you i remember you used to uh, speak to our director on whatsapp so yes 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 uh, so this dates back to when uni italia had come to the university and that's how i got in touch with hedvika Mm-hmm. and while i was applying for visa uh, by that time i had already had my offer letter from polytechnico mm-hmm. so i was still caught up because this is my first time being outside of country okay. so i didn't really know uh, how to how does a visa work and how do we have to apply for it and that's when i reached out to federica and she helped me a lot through this and she told me how uh, how i need to arrange for documents how to uh get done with the legalization part the apostille and the hrd process uh and to make a dossier of everything put everything together and submit it at urmi access i she helped me book an appointment as well and i was coordinating with her basically throughout the process that's nice that's nice that's yeah. true i mean yeah sometimes this process can get really harrowing and i'm happy you know that i mean even though i'm i'm working with uni italia but if i look at it as an outsider also i'm very happy to see that there's something like this which assists students uh, who are applying to italy because um, it, it does this way too much documentation and you do need some support yeah it's true that's true there's a lot and, of documentation 
that's true and lucky you you got uh, the support directly from our director like that's like, uh, yeah. like wow where do you find this way you can directly speak to the director of uh, you know and yeah. uh, that over whatsapp so i i really like this transparency thing and I'm, that's good i'm going to say lucky you ha huh? lucky you <laughs> thank you perfect okay great so that is nice and uh, with respect to the visa and all you spoke about uh, documentation and all that was needed yes. once you landed yeah. in italy what was the culture uh, shock like what did you like and what <laughs> did uh, you okay like? i'm going to be completely honest this. on yeah. this but uh, I came to Italy on a gamble because I didn't know anyone here. So the moment I landed here in Torino, I I didn't even know where to go. <laughs> so I had to make a couple of calls and eventually I ended up with few people like amazing people who are still watching, I guess. Okay. And they were they helped me to it. And for the initial the 10 days to go out because of the institutional quarantine, I had arrived in the first week of November. But okay. eventually when i started going out started attending classes it was like a whole new revelation for me and i loved it in a nutshell it was amazing that's so nice that's so nice and yeah. have you been like well, after like of course i know you en- ended up at a time where there was a pa- pandemic happening yeah. and yeah. i'm so sorry i'm going to interrupt for a bit uh, i see a lot and lot of lot of questions in the comments i would just request okay. you to hold on to the questions for a bit towards the end of the live okay. we'll have 10 minutes where we'll uh, both of us will address your questions and help you out so just give i'm sorry if i'm not answering your questions right now so once we open the forum to everyone definitely put them in again so yes what was i speaking about yes how how is the social life currently like as a student in italy on a budget on an indian budget are you able to like enjoy uh yeah i would say that my monthly expenditure is around 500 euros which is equivalent to 40 44000 mm-hmm. rupees and uh, uh it's a very demanding course so most of the time either you're working or you're sleeping but <laughs> during the weekends when you step out of your house you do meet a lot of interesting people you hang out with a lot of people and you get to know them and they introduce you to new things they tell you more about the city and then you're like oh i need to go and see this so yeah it's the social life is actually pretty great here that's so nice are you into sports or music yeah. or something like that like oh yes yeah uh, i'm big into music and i do play football so i just recently started playing football here in torino uh, we play with a lot of uh, italians and uh, it's fun that's very nice and okay one uh, there is a question where someone spoke about uh, would uh, what was it should i can't scroll but it was something about uh, which agent uh, should i approach and whether uni italia like how legitimate are we so i'm just going to interrupt and say that we are the official representatives okay please 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 do yeah. not get scammed please do not pay huge amounts of money unreasonable amounts of money to agents who might probably not help you might probably take away your application credentials and um, i mean i don't want to speak much but i would say do not fall into that trap you need any assistance we are here for you we are officially appointed we have all the legitimate information and because we are like the official representatives we are in touch with all the universities that are there in italy so whatever information you get from us will be legitimate will be true so please do not fall in this trap i don't know who it was uh, someone whose surname was sharma but i'm just not able to scroll up but never mind if you're still uh, watching i hope you got your answer and yes do, do you have something to add to it uh, sorry you were going to speak yes, of but course, i just yes. had to uh, reply to I, that yeah. you should not go to any agent for that matter i would suggest and it's very simple to apply here in italy just go through the website read the rules and regulation and sooner or later you're going to end up here and If in any case you do need help I think you need Italia itself is the most legitimate way uh, you can go you can come to Italy Definitely especially with all the translations and the DOV yeah. and everything like we we here we are like a one stop uh, shop and you know we there to help out Yeah so that's there So soccer exactly. huh you were speaking about soccer but what about the oh, food yes. how is the food <laughs> <laughs> uh funny that you asked that uh since i'm from the central india we are uh, used to eat a lot of uh, hmm. spicy food but it's not the case here it's not so picante as i would say okay but yes 
it took some time for me to adjust to the food here and uh, there are a lot of good stuff like pizzerias and pastas and spaghettis and it's amazing kya baat hai and uh, the spice yeah i agree like um, when i first like for me my impression of pizza like the way we eat pizza was like put lots of chili flakes put lots yeah. of tabasco my mouth is watering and but then you have <laughs> a, okay but i i love italian food like it's quite diverse quite nice have you have you done any experimentation mixing indian and italian oh no i would not try that because uh, my friends who are watching know that i can't cook so i just have to eat whatever they make for me or i could just go to a pizzeria use open up my google translator and tell them to add a lot of spice oh interesting picante yeah. yeah, you mentioned that yeah, and i was like oh, someone is learning italian <laughs> parlo pochissimo italiano kya baat hai kya baat hai guys look we have someone who has been uh, studying in italy and is already speaking like the italians and probably even getting adjusted <laughs> to the taste of italy yeah yeah a little poco poco kya baat hai very nice so would yeah. you would you recommend that uh, students uh, okay so one thing i think that you would recommend is please learn to cook before you get to italy if you want oh, yes. to like big thing please learn to cook otherwise there is going to be a lot of struggle for you guys here but oh my god the deserts are fabulous oh yeah they are lovely even the aperitifs they are like so good That, that's so 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 nice and someone is asking you want to apply in mid april okay can you kiran deep can you send us a dm on instagram so uh, we can just answer that question and help you out i'd like to know which course you would like to apply for and according to that the deadlines and everything so i'll just uh, get uh, about that nitesh you can contact tony tarya you can just drop us a dm just drop us a dm and we'll send you our contact number and you can just get in touch so woh kya hai um but one second i never asked you raksha why why are you outdoors like what's what's uh, up i know like uh, it was rushed and uh, uh, fedrika tried to reach me and to set up an appointment for this but uh, i had i was summoned by my group members we have a lot of group exercises here, so if i don't show up it's going to look bad on my part so i had to rush out to the campus i'm just see, sitting like uh, Five minute walk from where they all are sitting, and they don't know that uh, we are in this live conference. So oh, I had to rush. Yeah. My God. Okay. Is this some academic related? Uh... Yeah, yeah. This is purely academic. It's for my Atelier course. Ah. Oh, so you want to sit in with you? Uh, the Atelier. We have a green building design Atelier that we we need to uh, oh. work on a project and submit it at the end of the semester, and that's why we are working in groups of four people each. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. That's really practical, and you and the fact that it's all international students and all, you also get an yes. idea, you know, uh, yeah. speak to uh, students and uh, you know work with people from different cultures, and that uh, gives a better idea. Absolutely, really? absolutely, yes. Perfect, perfect. Any uh, okay? Someone wants you to uh, show around. If you can just maybe turn absolutely. the camera. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just uh, this is the mm-hmm. entrance to the. Uh, department of architecture and design this is where you enter from huh. uh those are all the libraries and the classrooms okay and uh, this is the entrance to the valentino castle and okay this is the valentino castle finally wow yeah that's beautiful man that's really beautiful baap re that's so sundar i really like it Yeah, this is the main entrance for the for the castle, but students are not allowed to enter from here. I guess so. We usually take the take that door on the left, and that's but how we enter. But architecture students, don't you all get a little advantage of getting to <laughs> access spaces which were not, uh, you know, accessible? <laughs> and uh, this is the the front portion of the castle, and. Okay. Uh, a street is somewhere i live there in those buildings so it's oh, like wow. a 5 minute walk for me yeah oh my god i'm sure okay first of all listening to all the stories that you've told and looking yeah. at whatever you've shown us many of the people in the comments are definitely going to get even more motivated to get to italy so that oh, yes, is it please <laughs> Guys, would you all have any questions? Any specific questions to ask? Uh, we're opening it up for five minutes, and you all can just ask questions. 
Uh, Nitish, I'll be happy to answer that uh, DOV question for you. Um, okay, I'll be happy to answer the DOV question for you uh, on chat. So if you could just uh, message us, I'll explain it and we can get on a call and we'll explain. Anusha has a very interesting question for you. What are your plans after Masters? Oh, I haven't really thought of that. But in the long run, I want to get into academics. And okay. maybe possibly a PhD. Okay. And uh, me and my friends are already working on a startup. Uh, it's a blogging platform. So I would take over it again and push it through the years. Let's see how it goes. That's very beautiful. That's nice. Yeah. And Aditya is asking about scholarships and stipends. Have you availed any scholarship? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm if you could leave the company to... for sharing about it, no, no pressure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I would share. I would love to share about it. Hmm. Uh, I'm entitled to a regional scholarship, which is known as Edisu Piemonte, which grants uh, uh, there are waivers in the tuition fees, and it also grants some uh, financial help uh, for the cost of living. And uh, yeah, more or less, that's it. That's that's quite nice. Yeah, the regional scholarships yeah. will open up. They've not yet opened up for twenty two. They'll open up in a couple of months. So definitely, yeah. definitely. They usually the they usually open it around the months of uh, June, July. That's May when the notice June, comes absolutely. out. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. So for the ones who are still looking at applying, there's still time. There's still time to apply. So still time to apply for the scholarships. Yes, for the universities, some of them. I would say the time is, you know, it's the clock is ticking. So I would say if you're looking at applying to certain courses, get in touch already because uh, the second call is on, the third call is on. So uh, you would like to be a little prepared and be there with all your documents and all. So you can yeah. just drop us a DM and we'll be happy to help. Uh, there are questions about job opportunities. Uh, he's still he's still doing his course. Don't pressurize him, man. I feel like uh, I feel like we're being like aunties and uncles in India who are asking like, "Acha, beta, aage kya karna hai?" So, <laughs> but yeah, if you have any idea, like, sure, you can uh, uh, tell them. Uh, I would say that uh, for designers, yes, there's a lot. Okay. There are a lot of openings here in Italy. Uh, come on, it's a country of art and culture, so you will get uh, openings and jobs in those regards. But if you're particularly asking if there are like part-time job opportunities that could help you survive here financially, uh, yes, there are, and you have to look for them. And uh, the least you could do is uh, uh, be a bus boy or bus girl at a restaurant, or maybe a food delivery guy, and they they do have a good uh, pay wage for that. So it's you get enough money to survive here. That's pretty nice. Plus, I've also, you know, many universities also have like a placement cell and all, so they help you figure out later okay. with respect to internships and all. So yeah. that that is also an advantage. Uh, for Perfect. me, for the uh, there is yeah. uh, there is an internship uh, sort of uh, web page on the university portal where they usually publish the openings. Okay, if, nice. Uh, we are looking for jobs, so yeah, it's very handy. You could just log into your portal and. Uh, look for the job requirements, and if you find it fit, mm. you could just simply apply. Absolutely, and I really like this about Italian culture. You know, it's it's very welcoming. They're very helpful and all of that. So, thank you, thank you for telling us so much. And I I oh, think I know pleasure. there are a lot of lot of questions coming in. But guys, it would be better if you send us DMs because I have been keeping him waiting from the academic uh, meeting that he has. I really don't want him to lose out on his grades. <laughs> so that is there. Thank but you so much for understanding. <laughs> No, 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 definitely. I'll just quickly wrap it up. Thank you so much, Lakshya, for your time. It was wonderful, wonderful speaking to you. And uh, thank you for the tour also. And you've definitely oh, inspired yes. a lot and a lot of students. We have quite My a lot pleasure. of, um, uh, you know, architecture applicants. So I can see the DMs popping up already. I'm getting a yeah. buzz notification. It's going to get saved in the live later. <laughs> so there's a, the, I'm getting notifications from people asking about uh, this. Anusha, I'll definitely help you out about that. But first, I'm going to say goodbye to Lakshya. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for uh, uh, joining in and for helping us out. And good luck for your meeting. I hope uh, it goes well. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for calling me over and allowing me to exchange my experience with all you fine people. And thank you so much once more. And if uh, anyone of you is listening who needs help to particularly get into Polytoads, feel free to reach out to me. I would be, I'd be happy to help you guys. Okay. Okay, Lakshya, yeah. see you. See you. Ciao, ciao. Arrivederci. Perfect. Okay. I'm just going to figure...
Okay, perfect. So thank you, a big thank you to all of you for attending the live. It was wonderful to see all of you interacting. Thank you, Aditya. Thank you, Anusha. I see Hemant also. I see, uh, I I think I had seen uh, Nitesh. Yes, uh, you've got an admission. That's great. Congratulations. That's nice. Um, perfect. You, I'll just, we'll just help you out with that. So any other questions you'll have, just feel free to uh, drop us a DM. We are super accessible on Instagram. Uh, we, uh, and uh, once you drop us a DM, we'll also get you, give you our number. You can, like, it's also on the website, but in case you don't want to take uh, all our effort, just uh, drop us a DM. We'll be happy to call you up and answer your queries if you'll have any queries with respect to, say, be it the application procedure or if you're stuck with what course you should apply to and what all courses are available and the scholarship procedure, the declaration of value. If you need translations or visa assistance or anything, we'll be here to help you out. So just chill, don't worry. Um, we're here for you. And uh, yes, we're going to have these series every week. So follow our page and stay tuned and tell your friends in case uh, they too would like to apply. So if you're applying together, you can just follow this and we'll have a guest every week. So thank you. Thank you for attending today and see you soon. Bye-bye.